go. Awesome. Fantastic. So I'm excited to um, have a couple minutes to talk about angel investing and the pivotal role that women uh, play. Um, and we'll use this to springboard into the fantastic panel discussion. So if we think about it, um, you can do the next slide, Paul. Um, angel investors play a very important role in the entrepreneurial ecosystem. Next slide. And the role they play um, is that early capital role. Um, and we see that um, in the numbers here, but if we go to the next slide, you can see it's more than, uh, than just a line on the chart. Um, angels are responsible for funding the largest percentage of deals in the ecosystem. So these numbers are from PitchBook from uh, through Q4. And that dark blue line is the one that shows the number of angel and seed uh, deals compared to early VC and late VC. So it is, it is the volume um, that angels um, help start um, within the ecosystem. And on the next slide, you can see that it's not a small amount of money either. So angels are responsible for um, funding billions of dollars um, in the startup ecosystem. And year over year, we've seen that um, in a, with a nice growth trajectory. So then uh, the question comes is, um, what role do women play, play within this um, angel space? So for the past several years, women angel investors have represented at least 20% of angels here in the US. You can see the number bounces around in 2017, it was about 20 in 18 um, for the full year, it bounced up to 29. The first quarter of 2019, which is the uh, not the full year, it's around 24. So the numbers have been steadily rising over time. Um, I'm sure we will, uh, uh, see it grow more and, and we'll like it to grow more, but um, we've been on a good growth trajectory um, to date. Um, so let's kind of take a look at the actual, the individual growth and how that compares. So what we see is, is that the growth rate for female angels on the right is quite large, where um, when we look at all other angels, the, the growth that we've seen um, from 2004 through 2018 has only been about 10%. So um, the, the female side has been re responsible for a lot of the actual number of um, growth of angels in the space. And on the next slide, what you'll see is that the growth that we see in female angel investors is also mirrored in the percentage of women um, owned businesses that are seeking funding. So um, on both of these, starting in 2004, the percentage was about 5%. And in the la latest year that we have the numbers, we can see it's in the high 20s. So um, one of the um, theories I have um, and different panel members can talk about it. One of the reasons why I think it's very important for um, there to be a good percentage of female investors is because it's great for female entrepreneurs to see someone that's kind of like them on the other side of the table that can um, potentially understand their business and be able to kind of coach them um, along on that journey. Um, so it's really nice to see that those trajectories um, are, are similar and growing. So what does that look like here in Seattle in our own angel ecosystem? Well, in Seattle, what we see is that 7% uh, of all angel back deals are located in the Pacific Northwest. And here in Seattle, um, we have, oh, about eight angel groups um, that are strong in the mix. So if you want to go to the next slide, Paul. Whoop, back one. Um, 
here's a list of the angel groups that we have in town. So I've listed them here um, in growth from kind of very early to uh, larger Series A. Um, one of the things when you're looking um, to both, if you're an angel and looking to join a group, or an entrepreneur looking to pitch, finding a good fit is, is important. Um, and a good fit can mean um, that there it is a fund type that's, that you're interested in. It could also be that um, they're interested in investing in an industry. So for instance, Element 8 is a clean tech focused um, here locally. Um, Seattle Angel Conference, um, but that both Karen and Minda and Chelsea and I have been part of is helps to create angels and is a uh, 10 to 12 week program um, where it's half new angels, half um, returning angels and um, helping move and fund uh, new startups on their journey. And as Karen said, the finals for round 17 is next week. Um, grub stakes is another um, early um, and seed fund that um, both Karen and uh, Minda have been a part of an uh, awesome group of people. Puget Sound Venture Club um, started by Gary, um, just kind of a legend in town. Um, and we have Alliance of Angels, Sea Chains and Koretsu Forum on the larger side. Um, both in uh, focusing on um, larger check sizes and a little bit further down the funnel. So Paul, if you wanna move to the next slide, this was um, showing the two, uh, 2018 numbers that I really appreciate all of the um, Seattle Angel Groups sharing their data with me so that everyone can understand where each of the angel groups kind of lies. And some of these numbers are small. So let me tell you that on the horizontal axis, what we have is the, the group's kind of check size. Um, on the Y axis is the number of deals. And the size of the bubble is the number of angels. So basically, we're seeing that Swan, Seattle Angel Conference, and Grub Stakes in the lower left. Um, Puget Sound Venture Club is kind of moves in between, and we have AOA, Sea Change, and Koretsu Forum uh, on the larger side funding more Series A opportunities. So then we can go to the next side. And um, one of the things I think is really fantastic here in Seattle is that we have strong female participation in the majority of the Seattle Angel groups. Seattle Angel Conference, the last round had 35% female participation. Element eight right behind with 32. We also see strong female participation kind of across the board. Um, on the other groups. So it's really a super uh, place to start uh, to do investing within groups in, the, in town. And when we talk about why um, some of the women I know are interested in investing, on the next slide you'll see, I think if you talk to any of us, none of us are in it um, as philanthropy. So the, the first and foremost is a financial return. Um, but it would be great to kind of hear um, from the panel today other um, angles um, that we've talked about is that definitely it's a front seat on um, the latest innovation trends as we see in the deal flow. We meet, meet um, like-minded colleagues who really become friends. It's great um, to see all the faces that um, I really wish I could be in the same room with right now. Um, and we will soon. Um, it's a way to expand personal growth and learning. And then um, a, a number of, of us have found that it is definitely also a way to give back, leveraging the experience that we've had in business and being able to help um, advise and mentor startups. Um, not, not only talking about um, shared learnings, uh, it's a high energy environment. Um, 
happiness people get in making the difference and last but certainly not least it's a lot of fun so um with that um i do want to say that seattle is actually brimming with female angel and VC mentors. As you see here in this panel, um, Karen from uh, Grub Stakes and Seattle Angel Conferences, Angels, fund managers like Chelsea Carter, who was in SAC. We have Susan Preston from Sea Change, Brianna from Koretsu Forum, VCs like Jillian, our own Minda, and Yoko from First Row Partners. It's just a great place um, for women angel investors. And we're also excited to be with you today to talk more about um, angel investing with you. <laughs>